Hey everyone, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're going to be taking a look at the Hopkins four pole trailer wiring. This is going to allow you to have that four pole connector at the back of your vehicle so you can tow your trailer safely and still have all of your lighting functions. The nice thing about this wiring harness is that we don't have to worry about any hard splicing into our vehicle's electrical system. The only real connection that we have to make is to the battery. So it's going to make it really easy. Everything else is just going to be plug and play. And should be pretty simple to get installed. So let's take a little closer look at what comes in the kit. This is gonna be your wiring harness. So this is gonna be our four pole plug that's gonna go at the back of our vehicle. You can see it has a little dust cover to keep that protected from the elements. Something that Hopkins also does for their connectors is they have it wrapped in this fabric tape. So that's gonna to help to keep that a little bit more discreet. Uh, rather than having all these colorful wires and uh, also helps to protect the wires themselves. On the other end of our module box here we'll have all our wiring connections so these two guys are going to get plugged up on our driver's side. They're just going to plug in behind our taillight circuit. We should have um, two plugs to plug in line with our factory wiring comes with instructions on how to do that, but this is gonna go on the driver's side, and then the green wire is gonna run over to our passenger side. Then we'll also have a ground connection to make, so either finding a ground stud and connecting it there, or using the provided self-tapping screw to find a good chassis ground in a nice, safe spot. Then we'll also have our power wire. This is where we're gonna use our bulk wire, so it connects in there, the other end goes into our fuse terminal, and then this connects to our battery. It comes with the fuse to keep everything protected. So between the fuse and this module control box, it's going to doubly protect our vehicle from any uh, issues that might arise on, arise on the trailer side, so we don't have to worry about any um, shorts or anything like that transferring into our vehicle and vice versa. It's going to protect it. Our lighting functions are going to work the same with this installed. It's going to it won't change any of our functions at all. It's just gonna transfer our vehicle's signals, the brake signal, turn signal, and running light signal from our vehicle to that four pole wiring. So that's the main benefit to it. In addition to the kit there, we'll also get a nice handful of zip ties, a couple little mini ones, that self-tapping screw again, and then a little packet of dielectric grease. This stuff is really nice to put on your connectors, especially anything that's gonna be outside the vehicle. So the four pole wiring for sure. These connectors, not a bad idea to put some uh, dielectric grease in there. Basically it just creates a little barrier between the electrical connectors, the, the uh, actual metal piece inside those, and the elements so it helps to prevent them from getting built up with rust, uh, helps them from, from rusting at all uh, by being a moisture barrier as well. So good idea to put that on any of your connections. This is going to be a specific fit for the 2003 through 2005 Honda Accord Coupe. And again, it is going to be custom fit, so should be pretty simple to get this installed. One thing that I kind of like about Hopkins wiring is that they have a lot of these connectors pre-crimped on there for you, so it takes a few steps out of it. There are a few connections that you do have to make, but all pretty straightforward. Again, it does come with instructions, so it should be pretty easy to get installed. And that's about all there is to it for our look at the Hopkins trailer wiring. Again, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com, and I hope this video has been helpful. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.